By the stone, foolish girl. Where is Hava? She's in the barn milking. When will Papa be home? He worries a lot when he'll be home, riding on top of his wagon like a prince. Mama, you know Papa works hard. His horse works harder. And you don't have to defend your Papa to me. I've known him longer than you have. <sighs> he should only live to be well. Spritz off, bring me some more potatoes. Papa, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. You were reading again? Why does a girl have to read? Will it get her a better husband? Here. Mama, Yint is coming. She's down the road. I wonder if she's finally found a good match for you, Zion. From your mouth to God's ears. Why does she have to come now? It's almost Sabbath. Girls, go finish in the barn. I want to talk to Yinta alone. Can I go play? You have feet? Go. And can I go too? Go too. But Mama, the men she finds. The last one was so old and he was bald. He had no hair. A poor girl without a dowry can't be so particular. You want hair? Marry a monkey. <laughs> but Mama, I'm not yet 20 years old and I should. Shut up. Must you boast about your age? Do you want to tempt the evil eye? Inside. <laughs> Go, big army! I had to see you because I had such news for you. And not just every day of the week news, once in a lifetime news. And where are your daughters? Outside? No. Such diamonds, such jewels. You'll see, Gold, that I'll find a hundred for every one of them. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband. God forbid. <laughs> and who should know better than I? After my poor husband died, I've been alone. Nothing to do, no one to talk to, nothing to say to anyone. It's no life. All I do at night is think of him. And even thinking of him brings me no pleasure. <laughs> Don't tell him 
what it's about. The laser discusses himself. He's a good man and a wealthy man. True? True. So you'll tell me how it went, and you don't have to thank me, Golden, because aside from my fee, which lays on will pay anyways, it gives me satisfaction to make people happy. What better satisfaction is there? So goodbye, Golden. And you're welcome. When I want you to know, I'll tell you. Finish washing the floor. I wonder if Yenta finally found a good husband for you, Zyla. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not unless it's Ma or the tailor. I didn't ask you. Zyla, you're the oldest. They have to find a match for you before they can find one for me. And then after her, one for me. So if Yenta brings... Oh, Yenta, Yenta! Well, somebody has to arrange the matches. Young people can't decide these things. She might bring someone wonderful, someone interesting, and well off, and important. Right? 